Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the Best Investing Money Management channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Peloton, ticker symbol P-T-O-N. Now, for those of you that don't know what Peloton is, and you just happen to come across this video, well, Pel Peloton is a exercise company. They make a whole bunch of things from media to treadmills, bicycles, and over the past you know, year in 2020 and 2021, we've seen a lot of hype about Peloton because of all the lockdowns, right? During the lockdowns, all the gyms were closed, so at-home workouts became very, very popular, and that's what Peloton is. And their bikes are pretty expensive. They're over $2,000 for these bikes, but you get a whole bunch of fantastic things and the product's actually pretty decent. Now, with all the lockdowns, we had a crazy return, right? Looking at it, lows here at $17, highs here at 171. Now, anytime a stock, you know, goes up, you know, well over, you know, this is looking at a return of 444%. Anytime a stock goes up that much that quick, we always have a tendency to see sell-off, whether it's consolidation and we just have a little dip down or massive sell-off where pretty much the stock resets. And that's kind of what we've seen from Peloton, right? It hit 171, it consolidated up here and just started stair-stepping its way down. You know, pretty much after bad earnings, um, worse and worse earnings, we've just seen this stock pretty much sell off back down to previous levels prior to the lockdown. So honestly, there's been a lot of controversy about this stock. I really think answering that question, should you buy Peloton? I think it carries way too much risk, um, especially for uh, beginners that are just starting their account, right? I definitely think it's at a high risk, high reward play. Um, and if we look at it, right, you can see um, on their finances, the year over year is up about 6.23%, uh, which may seem like a lot, but it really isn't, right? At the end of the day, when you invest in growth stocks, you're paying for the higher premium. So most of the time, a stock will be a little overvalued, but you're hoping that, you know, the revenues are over 20, 25% net income's high, you know, but you can see all of these things are low, right? The net income is down 642%. The diluted um, earnings per share is down 725%. The net profit margin is minus 610%. It, it's, it's minus 43%. So what that means is for every $100 Peloton brings in, they actually lose about 46 bucks. The company's not profitable at all. And you can see on their last pretty much fundamental catalyst was a terrible thing for the company, Peloton, to halt production of its bikes, treadmills as demand um, wanes. Now, this is not good. Anytime a company shuts down production of any product, whether it's Ford shutting car production down or Tesla shutting a giga, giga factory down, that is not good. Investors are going to get scared and sell the stock. And that's what we've seen from Peloton. And is this something to be concerned about? Absolutely. If you hold Peloton stock, sell, sell, sell. You know, honestly, the, it's gotten to the point where this thing could easily continue to sell off. The absolute fundamentals for the stock don't make any sense. The technicals don't make no sense. If we look at the year to date return, look at this. This is a sinking ship. They should call it the, the Titanic instead. You know, I, I think Peloton's way too risky, um, especially for beginners. If you're gonna try to swing trade this, I think a good a good price to try to hop in and do a high risk, high reward play is gonna be honestly probably at 17 bucks, which it's gonna hit and you're gonna have to scalp it. You're gonna have to be in and out with ease. But I think for most people, it's gonna be a higher risk investment that I don't see um, as a good uh, company for the future. You know, I, I think for this stock to turn around, we're gonna have to see, you know, production start up. We're gonna have to see a whole bunch of good catalysts, fundamentals, good news, good earnings start coming out. And then we can start kind of dipping in. And if you're going to invest into something like this as just a risky investment, keep that under 1% of your portfolio. For every $100 you have invested into other assets, 
put a dollar in this, you know, especially at a higher risk, higher reward play, guys. That is it. That's my honest opinion of Peloton. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe. We'll see you later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe, guys. Take care.